three. So here we're going to look at defining sustainability. So we're going to introduce sustainability as a key goal for business ethics. Now to help us understand sustainability as a key goal, we first of all want that definition. So sustainability um, as a very broad term refers to the long term maintenance of systems according to environmental, economic and social considerations. So these three key elements are very common when we talk about sustainability. We also talk about sustainable development and if we look at this slide here the image on the left hand side is the representative of the 17 SDG goals. So you can see the rainbow colors around the, the globe there and there are 17 SDGs that will be introducing to you if you don't already know about them but that's one way that we look at sustainable development goals um, however this is not a new concept as you can see from this um, the definition of sustainable development that um, is about not not compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs uh, this dates back to 1987 so this is not a new idea However, it is gaining a lot more traction as we um, progress. <laughs> All right, so sustainability, a key goal for business ethics. The three components of sustainability that we've already mentioned is economic, social, and environmental. And this gives us um, a triple bottom line. So those social, economic, and environmental is also considered um, the three dimensions of a triple bottom line okay so this is stems back from the seminal original work of John Elkington and it's all about bottom line thinking suggesting sustainability is a goal so when we talk about that sustainability and the triple bottom line we're talking about not just making sure that our business is economic or financially viable but it also meets um, considerations of environmental and social perspectives so it's really balancing that in terms of a triple bottom line not just a financial bottom line so corporate commitments to sustainability I invite you on this slide we've got some sustainability statements from some key organizations BP Volkswagen etc um, if you look at the dates on them, they're, they're, they're reasonably dated, okay? Now, I invite you to really have a look at some new ones, maybe even go back to these organizations and see if they've updated them. And before we round off this topic, um, please think about this as we go to our discussion point as well. Okay, so in summary, in lecture one, and please, 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 please make sure you review your chapter one of the textbook and also the resources on the course site and the resources for the textbook. But we've looked at the definition of business ethics. Business ethics is vital for business, particularly in contemporary capitalism. So it's, it's something that we basically expect now. It's becoming more and more, um, for the want of a better word, popular. Uh, and we need to take a global view so that we understand some of those ethical issues. Um, different regions, we've looked at how different regions can quite often have different perspectives and this comes down to their ethical and moral values um, in terms of those um, business ethics issues. We've also had a quick overview, a quick introduction to sustainability as a really important goal for business ethics. So as we move to our final discussion point, um, I'd like you to really have a look at um, some of those sustainability sta statements and consider how hard it is it for business to balance the financial, economic and environmental bottom lines. And to do this, you might wanna go back and have a look at some organizations and their sustainable statements or their sustainable approaches um, and question it, put on a critical lens and think about it. Are they being sincere in what they're saying? And when I say sincere, that means are they putting it into 
practice? Are they actioning it? Um, and possibly there's some pitfalls for them. You know, a business changing to a sustainable approach is not always an easy approach. So really consider the pros and cons. You know, what are the pros and cons of this sustainability approach? Okay, thanks for joining me for lecture one and look forward to seeing you in week two and lecture two. And don't forget that these lectures are a brief overview of the topic and to help you understand it, please engage with your textbook and the workshops and your other resources at this point. Thank you.